on the circumstances going on in our life, and our circumstances in our life are constantly changing. Does that make sense? But I can promise you that you can always have joy in your life. And you know why I can promise you that? Because I have it. I do have it. But that's not why I can promise that to you. I can promise you that you can always have joy in your life because joy comes from where? Or who? Joy comes from the Lord. Joy, joy comes from God. In Jeremiah chapter 29, it talks about how God promises that he's got a plan for your life. And it's a great plan. Okay. Now here's the catch. He loves you. He's got a great plan for your life. And he can promise you that he can be a source, a source of joy in your life. But you have to have a relationship with him. And you have to trust him that when the things in your life aren't going good and you're not happy, that you're still going to trust him. And to have that peace and joy knowing that he's still got a great plan for you. Does that make sense? That's not always easy to do, is it? Okay. But you got to remind yourself, God loves me. He's there for me. He's got a great plan for me. And there's joy and peace in that. Everybody got it? Yes, Y'all did a great job of listening. Thank you very much. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right, everybody up right here, let's get to prayer. Any of you guys want to get to prayer today? Any volunteers? Go ahead, Aiden. Thank you, God, for blessing everybody. We're having the courts take off the time of the day to take us to the place we get to football. And thank you, God, for making it sunny outside. And thank you for everything. Good job, man. Good job. Staff on three. Who wants to break it down? Ready? Staff on three, buddy. One, two, three. Staff! Good job, big guy.